This is a polarizing time in our politics. Winning, losing, sometimes feel more important than moving forward as a country. It doesn't have to be this way. In Deadlock, we dig into hard decisions, high stakes decisions about an election. And we explore that election from a variety of perspectives. Today is election day. Today we will elect the next president of the United States. We'll start our story in the state of Middlevania. It's a big state, a battleground state. Every poll shows a virtual tie between the incumbent president of the United States and the challenger. Elise, you are a proud resident of Middlevania, Bigton County, the largest county, urban county here in the state. And every election, you do your civic duty. You serve as a poll worker. It's 6 a.m. You've just had coffee with your brother, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, inspired by her, you have uh, this year offered to pitch in at the polls. You jump into Eddie's car when your phones ring, both of them, at the same time. You look down. It's a text message from your uncle. Uncle Bill. Now, both of you have fond memories from your childhood of Thanksgivings at Uncle Bill's, but lately things have changed. You've seen your Uncle Bill's views diverge completely from your own, especially when it comes to the legitimacy of the last election. I've always known that he held certain kinds of positions, and I was okay with it, but now I think it's a reflection of his character. Maybe uncle isn't such a good dude anymore. Yeah. You grit your teeth and you open the text message and you read it and it turns out that Uncle Bill is just asking you for a ride. No. <laughs> That's all. He's asking you for a ride because he's going to the same polling place that the two of you are going to today. He's very excited about his role. Uncle Bill is a poll watcher. Mr. Sterling, Gabriel Sterling, you are the Chief Operations Officer of the Middlevania Secretary of State's Office, a wonderful role, and you know that the Challenger's Party, the party that controls the Middlevania State Legislature, has recently passed a new law. Could you tell our viewers and one another what access Uncle Bill is going to have under this new law? It allows them to get close to what we would consider intervening with the voter in their process of voting, which is what you really don't want to see. But there are people out there who want to allow for greater access because they're under the impression that there are shenanigans going on. Mr. Kobach, would you agree with what Mr. Sterling said? Well, sometimes it's a, an impression that's unfounded. Uh, sometimes there really are shenanigans and something illegal was done. So uh, to come back to you, Elise and Eddie, you know that your Uncle Bill is a poll watcher for the challenger this election. How does it make you feel, this idea of driving him to the polls? Oh, let's just give the guy a ride. He's uh, crazy, no, no. but, you know. Mm -mm. After the way he behaved last Thanksgiving, there's nothing about the experience I had with Uncle Bill, and there's nothing about the positions that he's put forward to lead me to believe that his role as a poll watcher is rooted in a commitment to democracy as mm. such. Mm. So you send him the text message, a little white lie? No, I wouldn't lie to him. What would you write? I'm not picking you up. <laughs> <laughs> because the turkey Be was dry. Because of the stuffing or because of? <laughs> exactly. OK, it's now noon. We're back in Middlevania, Bigton County at the polling place where Elise and Eddie are working. Uncle Bill is there watching. And Elise, good news, it's time for your break. You grab a seat when you notice Uncle Bill is there too. What do you say to him? Uncle Bill, what news He slams are you on the table before you can get another word out. And he, Ooh. his finger, yes, <laughs> his hand is shaking and he's holding a cell phone. And he says, look Elise, I knew it. They're stealing this election. And he presses play. And you see an election worker put a pen in the hand of an elderly voter. 
and guide her hand over the bubble for the incumbent president of the United States. And right at that moment, the scene cuts out. And you see a post that says, they know cheating is the only way they'll win. Americans fight this fraud. What's going through your mind, Elise, as you watch the video? I would say, Uncle Bill, where's that from? You know, sometimes you get your news from places that are a little questionable. Let me check it out for you. He's happy to hand you the phone. And you can see it's a video on social media. And this time when you watch it, two things stand out. The first thing is that you're not actually sure anything unlawful happened. You know that poll workers are allowed, in fact, have a duty to help elderly voters, voters with disabilities, to read and fill out the ballot if needed. The second thing you notice, Elise, that video was taken here at the very elementary school where you're sitting. Uncle Bill is trying to repost this video of the poll worker helping the elderly voter, and he's added some text. True patriots, this is where the fraud is happening. Come fight the fraud. Name of the elementary school and the address. What do you do now? Uncle Bill, you got to get a grip. This is dangerous. There are a lot of children here. I know that emotions are running high, but we need to figure out what actually happened before we jump to conclusions and we get people upset and we raise the temperature when there's already enough acrimony going around. I always humor Uncle Bill a little bit more than my brother. You see Eddie walk by. Do you call him in? I think the good cop attitude isn't really working, so I do say, Eddie, hey, come over here. It's time for you to sit down with Uncle Bill. Oh, hell no. <laughs> this is what you always do. This is what you did in Thanksgiving. This is what you always do. And if you press send, I'm gonna alert the relevant authorities of what you're trying to do. Cause you're gonna put everybody in here in danger. Why don't you just take away his device? Well, because Uncle Bill has big hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Eddie is talking to you. Uncle Bill can overhear it. It's pretty clear. Eddie is not going to persuade Uncle Bill. And Uncle Bill is this close to trying to post it. When you notice his face start to get red, he's grumbling. Ugh, look, click. Uh, I don't, know, don't know how. He's asking you, Eddie, will you help me? Sure. Did you, did you delete it? I sure did. <laughs> but here's what happens. Uncle Bill gets his phone back. He can tell the message has been deleted, types it out again, and this time he figures out to hit send. The name of the school where this video of our poll worker helping our elderly voter is now out there, and so is the address. It's now 1230. A new version of the video is now out with what the poster says is enhanced audio. What it sounds like is the poll worker telling the elderly voter that she has to vote for the incumbent. In just the time I've described it, that video is now up to 500,000 views. What would you do? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this, don't miss the full episode of Deadlock, an election story. Right here on YouTube, and on the PBS app.